welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Welcome back. Problem seven point eight seven. So the statement is of problem is the 1.5 inch diameter shaft AB. So this is shaft AB having diameter 1.5 inch is made up of grade steel with 42 ksi tensile yield stress. So using maximum shearing stress criteria determine the magnitude of torque T for which yield occur when P is equal to 60. So this is the same problem that is 7.85 but here the shaft is in vertical direction so let's solve this problem so it is given that uh, diameter of the shaft is 1.5 inch clear and that is made up of steel so its yield strength or yield tensile yield stress is given that is 42 ksi clear and uh, p is given 60 kips clear so we have to find torque T torque for yielding for yielding using maximum shear stress criteria or it is known as Tresca criteria. Both are both the both are same. I will write short Tresca criteria. Tresca criteria is again known as maximum sharing stress criteria so let's start with its solution as we know that by using tresca criteria the maximum sharing stress is always less than sharing stress in yield and you know that this sharing stress in yield is equal to sigma y by 2 but this criteria is used when there is no yielding so for yielding for yielding to be occur using this criteria so your maximum sharing stress must be equal to sigma yield divided by 2 or 2 times maximum sharing stress will be equal to sigma yield and again you will see that what will be the maximum sharing stress so for that we will need principal stresses again you can see there is this is the vertical force so again sigma y will be equal to p by a clear as there is no horizontal force so sigma x is equal to 0 and tau x y will be some value which is not known now so we will first find this top x y and then we will use it in order to find the uh, tor clear so let's start uh, for finding the value of sigma y clear so p is given that is 60 kips clear and area will be can be find out so sigma y will be equal to 60 into 10 raised to power 3 kips divided by area is pi by 4 into d is 1.5 inch whole square so when you calculate it that will be equal to 33.953 now you can see here that this stress is compressive one. So I will write minus sign as well. Clear? So it will be minus 33.93 KSI because this is in compression. Clear? And sigma x is equal to 0 and tau of xy is not known. So we know that principal stress sigma a and sigma b is equal to sigma average plus r. Similarly, it is sigma b is equal to sigma average minus r. So we will first find sigma average. Sigma average is equal to sigma x plus sigma y divided by 2. So sigma x is equal to 0. So it will be equal to minus sigma y divided by 2. Clear? So sigma average will be equal to sigma y divided by 2 two okay now you can see that this sigma average uh, we will find r as well so r is known as radius of more circle that is sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 whole square plus tau x y whole square 
again this is zero so it will be minus minus plus again plus so that will be equal to sigma y square over 4 plus tau of x y square that is equal to r and if you further simplify it so again that will be equal to take the lcm that is 4 so sigma y square plus 4 tau of x y square under the root clear okay so this force when this 4 when come out from this square root so it will be 1 over 2 so you when you multiply it to it will be equal to 2 r is equal to under root sigma sigma x uh, so sigma y square plus 4 tau of x y square now you can see that uh, this 2 tau max is actually it is also equal to because radius is equal to maximum shear stress so 2 r will be equal to 2 tau max clear so instant i i will use this equation now clear to put the value here clear so i will use this equation clear let me write so instant of 2 term x i will write it 2 r and this 2 r is equal to sigma y and this is from this equation clear and this 2 term uh, 2 r is equal to sigma y square plus 4 tau of x y square and that is equal to sigma yield clear again we are interested in to find out this uh, this top x y so i will take the square on both sides so it will be equal to sigma y square plus 4 tau of x y square is equal to sigma yield square so tau of x y square is equal to sigma yield square minus sigma y square divide by 4 and this tau of x y will be equal to uh, 1 over 2 if i take the square root so it will be equal to sigma y square minus sorry sigma yield square minus sigma y square now you have both the value 1 over 2 sigma yield that was given as 42 ksi so 42 square and sigma y which we calculated here is minus 33 point so again minus 33.953 minus 33.953 whole square so when you calculate it the share of x y will be equal to 12.36 ksi here now you have share stress you know that share stress of x y from torsion this is from torsion that this tau of x y our shear stress is equal to t into c divided by j we are interested in finding torque so this torque will be equal to tau, tau of x y into j divided by c now c is the radius which is equal to uh, d divided by 2 clear and the diameter of short was 1.5 inch so 1.5 divided by 2 is equal to 0 0.75 inch and j is equal to polar moment of inertia and this j is equal to pi by 2 c4 clear so pi by 2 c is 0 0.75 that is 4 so it value will be 
जीरो पॉइंट नाइन फोर नाइन फोर नाइन सेवन इंच फोर एंड द टॉप एक्स वाई इज दिस वन सो वी विल पुट हेयर सो टॉर्क विल बी इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व पॉइंट थ्री सिक्स इंटू टेन एस टू पावर थ्री मल्टीप्लाई बाई जे इज जीरो पॉइंट फोर नाइन सेवन डिवाइड बाई रेडियस विच इज सी एंड दैट इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट सेवन फाइव सो वेन यू सॉल्व इट द वैल्यू ऑफ टॉर्क फॉर विच इल्डिंग अकर कम्स आउट टू बी एट पॉइंट वन नाइन केप्स इन टू इंच सो दिस इज द टॉर्क दैट इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर इल्डिंग टू बी अकर वेन इट इज अप्लाइड टू दिस शॉफ्ट क्लियर सो आई होप यू हैव इंजॉयड द वीडियो थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग